Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I will be showing you how to color in your digital art if you already have the line work available or if you want to skip the line art altogether and go into actually coloring it in. This video shows you how to do it. For me I like to start off with the gray scale which is where you have a gray background and then you start working on the values of the objects instead of focusing on the colors because I don't know about you guys but for me I often get stuck trying to figure out my color palette. I'm not really good with color theory. So this technique helps me to understand the values and the shadows of what I want the objects in the picture to be rather than trying to figure out the color. Once I am done shading in an area, as you can see I've shaded in this flower, then I make a layer above it and set it to multiply. Once I set that layer to multiply, any color that I color on top of it will take on the color of what's underneath it in terms of value. My only warning for this is, although one color does take on the shade of many to form the shadows and the highlights. I would still suggest to go on top of it with actual shadow colors and with actual highlight colors to add more depth to the picture and to make it look more professional and more stylized. If you like the way it looks without it, you don't have to do this step, but for me I wanted it to have more depth to my piece, so on top of the base color I actually went back in with shadows and highlights to give more warmth and depth to my piece. For this tutorial, the magic wand was very helpful and let me tell you why. I was able to select areas and not have to worry about coloring outside of the lines. I was able to shade without worrying about coloring outside of the lines. It is just a helpful tool. If you're not familiar with it, please take the time to practice, familiarize yourself with the settings because it is an amazing tool when it comes to digital art and it will cut so much time out of your day if you can just learn how to do the magic wand select the areas that you need to select and then color it in. One thing I would be mindful about is if you have to go to a specific layer to select it, make sure that's the layer that you actually want to do the work in. If not, you can go to a different layer and use that layer to color in the work. While I was doing this project, I would use the line art layer as a selection source, but then I would forget I was in the line work layer and start to color in it and I would have to undo, 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 and erase and go back and make a new layer and do it all over again, which added more time to an already strenuous project if you're trying something for, new for the first time. So what I would suggest is to take your time, pay attention to the, label, to the layers, label the layers so that way you don't get confused and you don't get mixed up with the layers that you're using. The final step I can tell you guys to do for this tutorial is to just have fun. If something doesn't work, you can use the filter tool to change the colors. If something doesn't look right, 
it is okay to start over. It is okay to take a step back. It's okay to not get it right the first time. When I did this initially, I did not get it right the first time, but I did not give up. I did not give in. I just kept playing around with settings. I kept playing around with the color wheel until I got what I wanted. Yes, this might be a 10 minute video, but trust and believe me, it took more than 10 minutes to make this art piece. So trust in yourself, trust in your skill, and trust in your craft. You are amazing and you can make amazing art. As you can see, I've already done the skin layer and I apologize for that. It's just, I would rather show you guys something that I can do and I can explain than to just try and BS you guys when I don't really know how I did something myself. I will practice it more and make a separate tutorial on how to do skin. But for right now, I just wanted to show you guys how to color in your your piece using the gray scope. So I do apologize if you guys are looking forward to the skin tutorial. If you want to comment down below and let me know, I will make a separate video all about that and try different skin tones to show you guys the different gradients and how undertones work with those skin tones. If you're interested in that, please be sure to like and share this video and to just give me feedback and let me know what you guys would like to see. As you can see, I used something that was originally in a sketchbook that was traditionally drawn with a color pencil and marker, 
and I decided to turn it into a digital sketch because why not? I mean, it's one of my favorite pieces in my sketchbook and I think it's pretty cute and I wanted to draw more flowers and I was too lazy to do it in person. So copy and paste saved me on that. But here's the final result and I really like the way that the depths and the shadows look with the highlights. I just really appreciate how the grayscale helps me to figure out a lot of these values versus figuring out in colors. Once I figure out how to perfect showing you guys how to do it using the color wheel and the color theory, I will make a separate tutorial on that, so rest assured that video will be coming soon. If you guys like what you saw today, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down and let me know how I'm doing. Am I going too fast? Am I going too slow? Do you not like the music? Just any feedback. I take to heart and I really appreciate the time you guys take out to be in the comment section. So with that, thank you for watching and have a nice day.